Hi guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about something that is related to my previous video. My last video was actually a video stating that I was going to be starting an OnlyFans and I explained in that video what it is. I'll quickly go through it again. It's a website which you give people the link to and they can subscribe for a monthly fee. Um, they can turn the rebuild on or off. Most girls stereotypically use it for the explicit content which you wouldn't usually see on Instagram and that is exactly what I use it for. Uh, if you're wondering, this is a plaster on my arm. Um, I had a blood test this morning so um, that's why it's there. Uh, I'm filming on my new phone, it's the Huawei P30 Pro so I hope the quality is better. I'm just checking the time because I've actually got work in like half an hour. So in the previous video I said that I'd be doing OnlyFans but I said that I'd be stopping it after a week. I was only going to try it out for like a week or two uh, just to see what it was about because I was just mega curious. I follow a lot of girls who do it and, and boys um, and I was just really curious what it was and whether it actually is what it is. So I've been doing it for about a month and three weeks now so almost two months. I have earned some money from it. I'm not gonna be talking about how much I earn in the video because I just don't, I don't know, like I just rather wouldn't um, because it's not nearly as much as people think. So I do actually have another job. Uh, I work part-time, well I say part-time, almost full-time nowadays. And then I'm going to uni to do a degree in vet nursing. I don't know how long this is gonna go on for, but at the moment it's just like a little hobby. And for me personally, I have to keep myself busy, otherwise I literally just start feeling like down and like feeling really shitty, especially through these times, like lockdown times. And I've been finding it so much fun, honestly. I've had a few bad experiences with it, with what people say. You do get a few weird ones on there, but um, most of the people have been so supportive. I haven't really fallen out with any friends over it. I try not to promote it on my socials that much, but it is like the only way to get more fans is by promoting it. So I sort of just promote it on my account, which I use for car things and things that like my friends don't really follow. So I post lingerie photos. So basically bikini photos, but it's just different shapes. A few little videos here and there. I'm quitting pretty new to it. My boyfriend does help me. I enjoy editing photos and it gives me something to do without needing tons and tons of money to do it because every hobby of mine that I'm interested in, for example my car, it means waiting like for months and months to save up something to then find the time to like do the mod on, on the car itself and like a good hobby besides running and jogging which I'm not very good at that I can do in my spare time and actually earn some money from it and it's actually built my confidence quite a lot and it's motivated me to work out that was one of the main reasons that I was going to start it because obviously if I'm putting my body online then I need to be you know working out and it is a lot harder than some people think if you're gonna do it properly and you actually want to increase your build the amount of fans you have I try to reply to messages like as quick as possible but sometimes that is not easy when you have another job and it can be demanding when people are asking for things and you feel bad because you can't give them out to them obviously you need to like get ready you know, put makeup on do your hair like I make myself look a little bit presentable for the photos considering that they're going out online and people are paying to see them I know that there's like porn out there not that I'm saying it's porn but it's just like you know I think it's the whole knowing that person personally seeing them online day to day um, especially if you know them it's just sort of different because you can ask them for specific things you can message them like you can message me talk to me just a lot more personal the big allegation that probably all of you are making right now in your head is she posts nudity nope I've had people say oh you would earn so much more money or get so many more fans if you posted nudity and I'm like thank you for the compliment or whatever but I'm not going to. That is my barrier. I won't post nudity even if someone offered me loads of money, which I doubt they would. Another thing that I really enjoy hearing about when I watch other people's OnlyFans is the money that they're making. I follow quite a few people to inspire me to get better and to push it and to work on it. You do have to set the prices the same as other creators, otherwise you're kind of selling yourself poorly. I did have to ensure my car that I brought before lockdown which is a 1.6 turbo and my insurance as you can imagine from here to about here can safely say if I had not started OnlyFans and saved that little bit of money 
that I'm earning from that side hustle, I would not have been able to put my car on the car on the road. It's really helped me out a lot and I'm grateful for everyone who has subscribed, looked at my Instagram promotion posts. I also have the pay to view message section which you can put the more I say explicit, like more revealing or can send this to them in the messages and then they can pay to view that message. In terms of making content as a whole, I have just used like the generally the clothes that I have already owned and I've just taken photos in them, t tested out different angles. That's my review on OnlyFans doing it for almost two months. I will be keeping it up for the time being. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to start an OnlyFans yourself or now you have a bit more understanding understanding of it and it's something different I can bring to my YouTube channel because there isn't really a lot of car things going on right now. Give this a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I will leave my OnlyFans link in the description. Go have a look at it and see if you want to subscribe. I'll make it worthwhile.